What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where today we're going to be checking out how Citra performs with The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Yeah, we're going to continue our Legend of Zelda spree on the Citra emulator. This is Citra Bleeding Edge build 110. This is my own personal backup copy of Z Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. And I did get a decrypted save off of GBA temp in order to be able to play on the Citra emulator because how, what the Citra emulator does if you are starting a new file is it crashes as soon as the little intro cutscene is over where Link is looking at the monster and the screen goes black and there's some knocking on the door well at that point the emulator actually crashes so using a decrypted save we're able to actually put ourselves into a point in the game where we skip that point that crashes the emulator and continue playing so now after my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D comparison video blew up and comments just all came from every which direction, I learned a couple of things. One, we're going to make sure that the frame rate is optimal on the 3DS, so instead of using NTR custom firmware to stream the video to my PC, which skips a couple of frames, I decided to use my, um, my video camera at 60 frames per second, just to make sure that we are on point here and you guys don't complain about the quality, because this, the quality I'm about to show you is the actual quality of the game itself, so there's no disputing it through the eyes of a camera. So first off, let's see how the 3DS runs the game, and then we'll see how Citra runs it at the same resolution, 240p both ways. So now you've seen the 3DS and you've seen Citra both 240p, let's bump Citra up to 1080p and see how it looks. So Citra does a pretty good job at either 240p or 1080p, it's not perfect and it still has a way to come. There are still crashes like I've mentioned. In terms of rendering the actual graphics, the accuracy to it, Citra does a pretty darn good job. I can't really see any things that are wrong with the rendering in Citra 3DS. So in terms of that, it's pretty good. Performance is what needs to be worked on currently, the frame rate. So I'm just going to roll the 240p 3DS footage with the 1080p Citra footage and let you guys just kind of see for yourself what eventually Citra will be. You know, being able to play with the controller, 1080p on a big screen TV, it's, it could be glorious, you guys. Choices are great. And that's the performance, you guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. You know, Citra doesn't run that many games, but it does run the Legend of Zelda games alright, so that's pretty darn good. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think about this progress in the comment section below. I'd love to read what you guys have to say. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew.